Memory for AI agents is very important. It basically just gives an AI agent the ability to recall relevant information. That could be previous chat history, could be different variables in your session states and all of that. It's basically just information that it can reason about. It has it available and then it can take and grab that information if it's relevant for the new input prompt. So agents context here, it helps provide the best, most personalized responses. It can also create memories about the user that is interacting with. So user preferences, if you tell it something about yourself, it's actually like going to memorize that. Chat history, user preferences, supplemental information, any information that you feed into the system, it's basically just going to memorize that. So it feels a bit like the chat GPT experience where you're gonna go in and ask it, what do you know about me? It learns about your previous conversation. Every time you have a conversation, it's just going to generate a summary of the whole conversation, gonna store that, basically just chunk it down to something smaller. Over time, it has agents that learn from each conversation, basically just adds it to your memory. And also storage, so you can always load that in. It has like a high level overview over who you are, how you're interacting with the systems, and basically just learn how you work and this is definitely like the direction that ai is going especially for ai agents so if you tell the agent something about you who you are future responses they can reference this information to provide a better response and also user experience so when we're talking about agent memory we already covered a bit but we have the session storage we have user memories and then we have session summaries so session storage is chat history, session state. So this could be variables, connections, any type of data that we have inside there. Store sessions in databases, and also it enables agents to have multiple multi-turn conversations. So it's just short-term memory. You can go back and forth, do follow-up questions and all that. And it knows all the variables from previous runs, all the data from previous runs, what you've asked it about in previous runs. So this is kind of like the experience that you have in ChatGPT as well. Use memories, use preferences, it stores insights and facts about the user. It learns from the interactions. So it's basically just finding keywords, attributes here and there about the user. So this is like ChatGPT like memory. The last one is session summary. We already covered that a bit. So a chat summary with a condensed version of the session. This is very useful when the chat history, it gets too long, or you basically just have like hundred different chats with the AI agent, then it's impossible to take all of that memory and feed it into future runs then we need to boil it down and basically just create a summary of our session this is very important not just for ai agents but creating act like software systems around last language models ai agent systems and so on so this is very important to know storage memory in your database user memories very good for user experiences sessions states across multiple runs it will give you the users the best experience out there but also the most value the system will only get better and better over time the more you interact with it and this is the direction where ai agents is heading it's just a matter of how many tools does it have access to the level of reasoning it can do and how much data information context can it handle at the same time so let's open up my code editor here quick just to run over an example on how we can add memory to our AI agents. We use the ACNO framework. So right now we're just going to have a SQLite memory database locally that we can connect to and then it can create the tables with all the information. You can have Postgres, any database out there, ACNO also supported. So we import our agent, our SQL memory database. We have our memory and then we're going to use OpenAI. We set up our OpenAI API key. This is the user ID that we have. So you can have multiple user IDs, multiple sessions. You can have memory for each of your users. And this is the exact same way that you will set it up. Then we're going to create a temporary agent database. So this will be our database file. Now we need to set up our memory. So we use the GPT-40 mini model for memory. So it's not just storing everything. It's actually like using agents or models to go in and reason about what is relevant to save for the specific user is the user telling it telling us something about himself herself is it telling us us some other relevant information is it giving us something useful that we might be able to use in future conversations and also future runs then we have sql line memory database so we have our table name will just be our user memories we also set up storage for saving our agent sessions so this is pretty much just 
every interaction that we're doing is just a collection of our runs. Then we set up our agent, OpenAI chat. We connect our memory. We want to enable a genetic memory so it figures out itself what we should actually like store. Enable user memories. It learns about the user as well. Here we connect the storage where we want to store this user memories and also the agentic memory. Add history to messages so we can have multi-turn conversation. We want to add free runs. Markdown response from our AI agent. First of all, we clear our memory. Then I'm going to tell me tell tell the agent about my name is Nicola and I'd like to create AI agents. We specify the user ID. So if you create any software system out there. Pretty much we will have a user ID. You can just assign it here. We can have multiple users, multiple sessions, each interacting with the same agents, just have different sessions for the states. So the variables, user preferences, all the information will be connected to your user. We want to stream the results out and also the intermediate steps that the agent is taking. First of all, we print the memories about me. Then we can call memory.getUserMemories. Then we print the response here from our agent at the end here again we just get the user memories just to see what is actually storing about me when i'm interacting with the agent let's just run the program here and see some cool stuff about memory so we have agent dash memory dot pi it's streaming the results out first of all we're doing thinking my name is nikolai and i like to create ai agents now we create a tool or it's basically gonna like reason about we want to update the user memory. So this is tools that it has access to. We can connect any tool in here. I'm going to create a video where we cover tools in detail as well. It's very important that we use tools. This is basically the step that takes us from that language model into the agentic space where you can do take decisions, take actions autonomously based on the user's intent and the input prompt that we give it. So here the task is to say the user's name as Nebula and note that he likes to create AI agents. This is what goes into our tool call. Nice to meet you Nebula. I noted that you like to create AI agents. Is there anything specific you would like to discuss or explore related to that? Feel free to let me know. So this is just a response directly out from the AI agents. So this is not with the user memory yet. It has done this under the hood and then has generated this response. So memories has been updated. Now we're basically just going to print our memories about me. So user's name is Nebula. Nebula likes to create AI agents. So it creates basically two user memories or two attributes about me. And then we can see the whole input, the memory that is going to connect, update it, the memory ID so we can extract it at any point. We have the topics. So here we use the agentic memories pretty much. What we set to true enable agentic memory. So it divides it into topics as well. Then it knows my name, it knows my interest. There could be all different types of topics, could be the style that I want to work or like the style that I like to learn. Could be any topic out there and then it stores and basically just becomes better and better, learns your style over time. What is my name and what do I like to do is the second message that I sent to it. Your name is Nikolai and you'd like to create AI agents. Then we basically just take a look at it again here. We see it's still stored, but nothing new has been added in here. Because pretty much I just ask what's my name and also what do I like to do. Memory is very important when we want to build real AI agent systems out there. Both sessions, multiple runs, it's just a nice user experience back and forth. This is the best systems out there. You know, Gemini, Chat, T, they all have this functionality out here. So your apps, your projects needs to have the same because this is the level that people expect. They just really like this user experience here. You can see how easy it is to set up. It's just a few blocks. It's just a few, few import, imports that we need to do. And then we need to build a software system around it. Very important. Definitely make sure that you know all of these things here. This is how they build ChatGPT, all the chatbots that you're interacting with out there at the highest level.